How much protein do we need every single day? How much protein do we need for muscle maintenance? And where to get that protein from? This is Love Yourself channel and I am Natalia and I'm going to share with you all that information, so stay with me. What is a protein? Every single cell of our human body consists of protein. And in fact, we keep replenishing it every single day. So the proteins which we get from our diet can help us greatly to replenish the broken down protein. Protein consists of essential and non-essential amino acids. The non-essential amino acids are being produced within our own body. The essential ones we need to obtain from our diet. Normally, animal proteins, they are a complete proteins because they consist all of those essential amino acids. So that relates to meats, to your poultry, to your eggs, dairy products, and normally the plant protein. Some of those essential amino acids might not be there, like a one or a two, but it does not mean that you cannot get all your needs from the plant proteins. You just need to think about your diet carefully and combine a few of them together to get all the essential amino acids from your diet. Animal protein is being absorbed better by our body, it is thought. But as I mentioned, vegetarians, vegans, they can easily obtain all non-essential as well as essential amino acids from their diet. They just need to think about combining the different sources of a plant version. And I'm going to list here the protein content in the most common foods for you. So how much protein do you need per day? It is recommended that from a 10 to 35% of your overall calorie intake per day should be coming from your proteins. And for a relatively inactive person, it is recommended to consume 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per kilogram of your weight. I'm going to break it down in pounds and kilograms, not to confuse any of you. When we age and when we get to about 50 years of age, we should definitely switch from 0.8 gram per kilogram of weight to 1 gram because of the changes which are happening in our body. To build a muscle mass, we need to stay in a constant surplus in relation to our protein. So what we're breaking down should be less than what we produce it, and that can be coming from your diet. It has been proven that the main protein turnover in our bodies is happening after the workout. And it has been proven that your muscle mass will increase over time with resistance training and with the correct amount of your protein. And now we got to more active people. If you're doing any type of training, you need to increase your protein intake and that should be in a range of 1.2 to 1.7 grams per kilogram of your own body weight. So once again, I'm going to break it down to grams, kilograms, pounds to get you a good idea how much of protein you actually need. All that protein intake does not need to come from your protein shakes and with the good plant diet, you should be able to obtain all the protein from your food you consume. But on those days where you need an extra uh, supplementation, you can obviously use additional source for that protein intake. What proteins should you be considering? The whey protein has been proven to have a better absorption by our body. But once again, if you are on the other side, if you are vegetarian or if you are a vegan, you're still going to get all your proteins, all your amino acids from a plant version. And now the very important question, when should you be consuming your protein? Let's look into that one. The protein turnover, as I mentioned, is higher after your workout. So for about 48 hours after you worked out, that protein is being replenished at a higher speed. And you need to make sure that you've got a right amount of protein to help yourself with recovery, to keep gaining that muscle and to keep your muscle mass lean. It has been proven that the protein intake prior to your workout is really, really important. So, you don't want to exercise on a completely empty stomach. 
when you're working out, if you've got that pool of amino acids already in your body, that is going to help you with that protein turnover, with synthesis of the new protein, and it's going to help you, as it has been proven, to recover faster, to have less fatigue, and for your hypertrophy, i.e. for your muscle growth. Protein uh, intake after your workout has been proven to have a great effect on your skeletal muscle hypertrophy. Once again, on growing those muscles. So for about three hours after you've worked out, that window where you keep re replenishing that protein, keep making the new protein is really important for your muscle growth, for your recovery. So make sure that you obtain the correct amount of protein right after you worked out to get the most benefits out of it. A quick question, some of you might ask, what about our kidneys? It has been proven on a multiple occasions up until now, uh, November 2022, that in healthy adults, extra protein intake is not going to cause any harm to your kidneys whatsoever. So if you are healthy, you definitely on a safe side, keep your protein up. And one more question, what about the duration of your workout? When your workout goes beyond uh, 90 minutes, you need to get an extra protein. So here I'm going to do a breakdown for you. What, how much extra protein you will need dependent on the duration of your workout. And now let's get to the conclusion. You know the good protein sources. You know how much protein you actually require every single day. And please do not forget that you can easily obtain all the required protein from your diet. You just need to think and plan carefully to make sure that you hit your desired amount of protein. But if you get to those days or that time of your life where your diet is not at its best, keep that protein intake at the right level by supplementation. I'm not suggesting it, I'm not uh, uh, pushing you to that side, but what I'm saying, your muscle mass and your lean muscle mass, your recovery, your protein turnover is a really important factor in your training and just in your general life. So supplement when you cannot get the right amount of protein from your diet and always stay healthy. Guys, I hope that you really found that video useful and now you're going to get some uh, new information for yourself which is going to help you to make a correct decision. Please leave me a comment, please let me know how I've done and have a good day and remember, love yourself, love your life and I love you all and I will see you all next time.